I was wondering when they was going to release this Red Hood trailer. But, um, sorry. What's good, y'all? Uh, we got Red Hood for Gotham Knights. I'm actually into seeing, uh, I don't know if they're going to explain a little bit, but how he got back into the Bat Family. I want to see, uh, if they're going to show that. They're probably going to do like they did for Batgirl, you know, show the kind of skills she have and her his skill moves. But who knows? They might even share a little, little nugget of how he got back into the Bat Family. But let's see here. I'm looking forward to this game. One of my games for the... One of my top anticipated games of the year. But let's go ahead and get into this. Being dead, then brought back to life, it changed me. Some days I barely feel human. What is that? Let alone a better man. But Gotham City needs me. I know how big and brute he is. Almost got it. What is that? Wait, am I missing something? What is that? Oh, I like that helmet. This is what I trained for. Oh! Bruce gave me purpose. We got some more of the Court of Isles. And I'll go to hell and back to see it through. That helmet looks sick, though. I'm definitely going to look at the trailer again. I love how like, big he was. Pre-order now. But hold up, hold up, hold up. This is what I trained. Okay, okay. For Bruce gave me purpose. Wait, is that the same character I saw in the um the villain here, the Court of Owls villain here? I feel like I've seen him before. I think he was in the the Batgirl gameplay video. Maybe, because after I, I was surprised at first, I was like, oh, they showed more of Court of Owls, but then it's hit me. I'm like, I think I've seen him before. Still, it's nice to know they're in the game. Something tells me, y'all, and it's just me, but knowing how Batman stories are, I have a feeling there's another villain in the mix here. Like, you remember when you played um, uh, Arkham Origins, which, by the way, is very underrated in my opinion. I thought Arkham Origins was one of the top-tier Arkham games. To be real, yeah, between Arkham Origins, it was between Arkham Origins and Arkham City, but if you haven't played Arkham Origins, don't listen to critics. That game is amazing, but my point is, remember in Arkham Origins, for those who played it, uh, I don't want to spoil it, now I'm saying you should play it if you didn't, but I'll say this, you thought Black Mask was the only villain in that game, and then down the line, you was like, oh, he's not running things here. That's how I feel with this. Court of Vows is usually an organization that runs things on itself. But I also believe there's somebody behind the scenes that's orchestrating all of this. I don't know. I just have a feeling once you start playing the game and you get into it, you're like, all right, somebody else is here. Obviously, they said Joker's not, so they're not doing Joker again. Which, by the way, what's wrong with having Joker in a lot of projects? I heard some people say, we don't want another Batman movie with Joker. Why not? <laughs> The stuff, I'll just leave it there. I love the joke. He's my favorite villain of all time. But my point is, yes, the Court of Owls is here. Yes, we've seen the trailer of Mr. Freeze, which I believe that's just a mission. I still believe there's somebody else behind the scenes of this game. Who? I have no idea. It could be Ra's al Ghul. It could be somebody of that caliber. But I don't know. Something seems like this. Like the Court of Owls is not it. And I still stand on what I said, that Batman is not dead. <laughs> I stand by that. But I want to look at this one more time and I'm going to be quiet. I know I was talking through in the trailer. But yeah, I love how big and he's brute like this Red Hood is. But he still has the skills. Being dead, then brought back to life, it changed me. 
Some days I barely feel human. Let alone a better man. But Gotham City needs me. Almost got it! Cause I was like, I said I would talk. What is that? Do the did they say anything? Maybe I missed a trailer or some information. But what are these like? This power he's got. I mean, coming out of the Lazarus Pit. Did that? I've never. Yeah, I've in comic books. I've read a Red Hood. I've never seen the Lazarus Pit doing something like that. But like, look at this. It must be something new they added. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. Because that's interesting, bro. He had, like, you saw his hands. Now he got some powers. And, like, he was preparing, like, right here. Powered up to this fight the Sport of Owls group. For. Bruce gave me purpose. And I'll go to hell. Interesting. I do like that mask, though. That mask is sick. But, yeah. That's a big question for me. Like, what is that? That he has abilities now. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, Batgirl is my first. Uh, oh, by the way, um, because I have been talking about the Batgirl movie on these reaction videos with uh, Gotham Knights. They just removed the whole Batgirl movie, which. All right, I'll I'll say this quickly. When I first heard that the bad girl movie was removed from WB, even though they finished the movie and they could make some money, even if they didn't believe in the product, they could at least make some money off of it. I respect the decision. Do I like it? No. But here's how I look at it. The movie could have been pretty bad. Because for those who don't know, Bad Girl is my second favorite Batman uh, in the Bat second favorite in the bat family so i was looking forward to a background movie to hear michael keaton's batman and all that other stuff uh i was looking forward to it i did have some like in the back of my head i was like i hope they don't mess it up you know what i'm saying and maybe this is how i'm looking at it. i'm just saying maybe there's nothing against the actors who, you know, Brendan Fraser, uh, who, Leslie Grace, who played Batgirl. Because honestly, if they're going to cancel this movie, I believe they should have her with the DC EU, um, Ben Affleck and them, and be part of, you know, Ben Affleck's family. I think that would be cool. But when it comes to the movie, I'm talking about the movie project, it could have been really bad. And you know how some of these YouTube critics are. They be, they be. To condemning some of these movies and maybe wb saw and they were like this movie's bad on our end we can only imagine what fans think if that's the case then i respect it because i'd rather not see my first bad girl movie of the, someone i'm a fan of be terrible on the other end it's like it could have been really good and we missed out on something Fra uh, brendan fraser as um firefly you know Honestly, I didn't care to see Michael Keaton's Batman. I mean, the brother's 60-something years old. I want Batman and Batgirl work together. So I was thinking Ben Affleck's Batman. That was the thing I was having. You know, have, and then I saw the picture, and they had Michael Keaton's Batman, which was cool to see, but somebody made a good point. He should be, he shouldn't be with the DCU uh, Justice League. He shouldn't be in this kind of universe, in this timeline of Batman. I mean, he should be, uh, someone also said this, he should be the Batman Beyond universe if they want to do that. If they want to bring Michael Keaton back, he shouldn't be in the suit. You know, it's it was made for the, eight, what was it, 1989 and the 90s. That, Michael, that Batman was for that. 
But to see him now, it was kind of weird. And, it, and I agree. I love Michael Keaton as Batman. But to see him in that picture, bad girl's tall to him. I forgot who the other person was in the picture was tall to him. He's in his 60s, I believe. And it was like, you know, I want to see Batman in action, but not a 60-some-year-old Batman. I, I would love to see Ben Affleck. Now, I, I said this. They should have Leslie Grace, uh, I think that's her name, who played bad girl, have her be in Ben Affleck's Batman. I would love to see them in action. You know, but with a younger Bruce Wayne, uh, not young, but you know what I'm saying, the Ben Affleck Batman. So, you know, I was going to give it a chance, but I was having my doubts about Michael Keaton playing Batman in this movie. It would have been nice as a fan of Michael Keaton in the past movies. It would have been nice to see him, but I don't want to see him in action. So that's how I felt. So it was, you know... The fact that DC just threw away ninety million dollars, it must have been. <clears throat> excuse me, it must have been bad. It must have been bad. But anyway, that's how I felt, and I respect that because DC been throwing some stinkers some from time to time, you know. So maybe they're like, we're turning a new leaf, which I'm hearing, which I'm glad. Bring the Snyderverse back. Give Ben Affleck his Batman movies, even if it's just a few of them. Put the Batgirl that was in, it, put her in there too. You know, honestly, if she's the only one in the Bat family, and then, like, well, no, it would be cool if they show, like, Nightwing, but he's, like, in the background, and he like, a little cameo. That, cameo, that would be cool. But that, give him his, uh, Ben Affleck, his Batman movies, even if it's an HBO Max exclusive. I don't know, because I know Robert Pattinson's Batman, which is a good one, too. Uh, I would love to see the Trinity together, again, but more than just for five minutes. Uh, the Justice League, like I said, Zack Snyder, hey, that's just what the fans want. You know, I would love to see birds of like the some of the characters in Birds of Prey, like Black Mask, even though they Birds of Prey, they for some reason killed them all. That was so stupid. But they can find a way to bring them back. It's comic books. You know, comic books, people be dying and coming right back. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing. They going back to the core, which they should. I don't understand how there's not another Superman movie that's been out yet with Henry Cavill. Black Adam's coming out. I'm looking forward to that. We need to start seeing Black Adam and Superman with uh, versus Superman and uh, Shazam. I ain't really looking forward to the second Shazam movie because I was like, I want Black Adam in there. I don't want these other characters. You know, but that's just me. But anyway, yeah, that's how I felt about the Batgirl movie. But yeah, anyway, let me know what you think about this trailer. I'm looking forward to I like how they made Red Hood in here. He actually might be the second character I'll use after Batgirl. Um, but yeah, I like how he looks. And plus, I want to know more about these powers he got. But anyway, this video's going long enough. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'll definitely catch y'all later.